what's up guys welcome back to another video here on the channel so today is a really exciting day it's the full release of the game just dropped uh there's tons and tons of content uh coming out and going on here um obviously highlighted by one to watch team one we'll go over that in just a second um but right now i just want to take a look at the game here you guys can see there's tons of ones to watch content there's themed uh, SBCs, there's season objectives, there's whatever you want. You've pretty much got it this weekend. So uh, let's check out the ones to watch team first. Today's video is really just going to be going over all the new content. It's your go-to guide for uh, this weekend in FIFA Ultimate Team, what you could be working on, what you could be doing, all the new content. So uh, let me go over to my computer. Nice little uh, streaming um, transition there. So there are 12 players. Um, obviously, Osman's like kind of the weak link here. Um, not really uh, loving that. But Ake is probably next worst with Hakimi. Um, these are kind of the lower levels here. Um, then, of course, you do have players like Tiago and Partey and Tellez that are, you know, and Suarez that are kind of mid-range. This Odegaard, I think, is getting a little underrated here. If he gets one, uh, one in form, he'll actually be quite good as a cam, I feel. Um, just a really, really cool team. If you guys are interested in a specific ones to watch video, I can come out with that. What I'm actually interested in is what Alan's gold price did. His gold price did go up. I was buying him yesterday at 75. Now he's about 10K over that. That's actually really interesting. I haven't used this Alan card yet, but given how well he's playing for Everton, I would not be surprised to see him get an upgrade. Um, I mean, these are some really, really quality players, like all of these cards. Gareth Bale, obviously, going for a very high price. 625 for Werner. 625 That's crazy. What's his normal card at now? Uh, 283 Yep, see? I knew he'd go back up. He was... Let's look at Werner for really quickly. Werner's gold card. 200 They raised his price range. He was like 250 uh, 270 Dropped down a little bit. Um, but yeah, now back up to 280 as weekend league approaches, expect this car at, at towards the end of this, this one to watch team. So like a week from when this video comes out, I expect Werner to be close to 300 K if not over. Um, and I expect this card to be, you know, solidly in the high five hundreds. It'll go down a little bit. Obviously he's just new, um, new right now. And that's why a lot of these prices will actually go down Is Tiago extinct. That's kind of crazy. What's his price range? Uh, we don't have a price range for him yet. I actually bought a, uh, a gold Tiago. I'll try him out. Let you guys know how he is. So anyway, this is the ones to watch. Let's jump into some of the other content. Let's go back over to FIFA and check it out. Okay, so Team 1's available. We just went over that. They're available in packs. Go ahead. Tr try your luck on a few packs. Maybe you got lucky. Let's, in fact, um, go over to... There are promo packs available. Uh, premium Electrum players as well as a premium jumbo premium gold pack um, and a premium gold players pack. So there's a lot of different packs for you guys to try out if you're interested in that sort of thing. I will probably grab a few FIFA points and uh, and check that out uh, and open some packs for you guys at the end of this video. So go ahead, be on the lookout for that. Um, so stick around for the end of the video. Maybe we packed a one to watch, who knows? Um, anyway, so uh, we're going over all the new content. So of course we see the news, we see the team. Uh, there's an objectives, Diego Jota, who um, is, of course, the ones to watch, went from Wolves to Liverpool. There is an abundance of Premier League talent in this uh, in this particular squad. So that makes me think there's not going to be any Premier League uh, players in the next round. But anyway, um, pretty relatively easy objective. Score uh, in four separate squad battles match with um, La Liga Nos players. Uh, Portuguese players, you've got a few more squad battles uh, objectives, and then a couple in rivals with Premier League players. Should be pretty attainable. Highly recommend doing him. Um, you know, he's a decent card. Doesn't quite have enough pace for me. If you're not over like 86, 87, 88 pace um, at this point in the game, you're not fast enough. Um, wingers really need to be able to bomb down the sidelines because everyone's using fast fullbacks right now. So, um, but he's still worth getting to uh, for me because, you know, his next inform will be, what, an 83? So he'll probably go to 85, 86 pace, um, close to 90 dribbling, up into the 80s for shooting, as well as physical and probably um, mid-70s for passing. He'll be a great card. So I highly recommend doing him. Uh, anything else? Yeah, so live foot friendlies. They um, added a new allegiance live foot friendly. I talked about those in my offline um 
uh, I talked about friendlies a little bit in my offline beginner's guide to FIFA video. So you just have to assist eight, score 10, and win four. Let's go take a look at the rules for that friendly. Uh, we'll go to play over to friendlies. Of course, this is an online mode. Um, so be on the lookout for that new allegiance right here. It's time limited. So there is only 12 days. Um, and you just have to have a minimum of three leagues. And this is actually a swaps game. So three players from your team will swap with three players of the opponent's team. If you score a goal with a player that's swapped, you get two goals for it. Um, so it counts for double. So um, yeah, so that'll be that'll be interesting to check that out. I'll definitely make a team and uh, make a nice little hybrid team and work in that friendly objective. Of course, in friendlies, contracts don't count, so you can use um, people like icons and things like that. So, um, so that covers objectives. Let's take a look at SBCs. There is a couple of SBCs that came out today. One has to do with ones to watch. Of course, Thiago Silva. Um, this card is not great. 59 pace is really a little bit scary. Um, you know, he's decent on the ball for a center back. His dribbling stats are even good. Uh, physical is okay, and his defending is fantastic. But he's just too slow. I mean, even with an upgrade, um, you know, I'm not going to do him. I wouldn't recommend doing him. There's six days on him, but let's just see his rules really quick. Um, 82 rated squad. Now, some people might say, oh, it's fine. Like, you know, it's not really costing you very much. But for me, I'd stay away. Now, Calvert-Lewin, let's just look at his stats really quickly. Can I see his... Yeah, cool. So, I'm an Everton fan, so, you know, I'm big on Calvert-Lewin. Three-star, three-star does hurt him a little bit, um, but 88 pace is just crazy, um, you know, for, for, this, for this card, um, given the physicals that he has. So, finding this combination of pace and physicality, uh, 95 jumping, and how tall is he? He's six foot, is that right? player bio six foot two yeah this guy's gonna be absolute menace in the air particularly with 88 attack positioning uh 92 heading accuracy that's just ridiculous for me so um you know 84 finishing as well the only thing dragging down is shooting his long shots but you don't really need to be shooting from long range with him get him into the box 77 agility is good enough with 85 reactions is quite good as well he's, he's even decent on the ball balance is a little bit low but you can overlook that given that his goal is banging headers in. Um, for me, this is a card that's worth doing. I, in fact, set up um, both of these um, SBCs. This one is uh, requires one in form as well as 75 team chemistry and 83 overall rating. Um, I didn't spend too much. A lot of these guys were pack pulled, as you can see. Um, if I can get to the right tab. Uh, you know, spent a little bit of money on a few people. But overall, not very expensive. So we're just going to submit that squad. Um, and then the other one is an 84 rated squad, but needs a little bit less chemistry. Um, if it lets me move over. It wasn't letting me move over. There we go. And uh, and a little bit higher rating. So an 84 rating. So I do have some decently high rated players in here. Um, in Pjanic and, and uh, Parejo, Icardi. But we are going to submit that. Of course, we do get a couple of packs for that as well. And uh, we do get Calvert-Lewin. So hopefully he walks out. I want to see him walk out. Because some of the walkouts when you get like special cards are pretty cool, I've seen. So let's... Come on, walk out, Calvin. Calvert. Calvin. Oh, my God. Calvert-Lewin. That's what I was trying to say. Just forget me. Just look at Calvert-Lewin, how, how cool he looks. Um, I actually really like the design on this, uh, this, this card as well. Uh, he didn't walk out, but we got the boards and whatever, so I guess that's fine. Um, all right, guys, so I think that's all the new content for right now. Like I said, I did promise packs, so um, just stick around for one second, and we'll be back for packs in a minute. All right, guys, so we are back. Um, and, you know, on the subject of FIFA points, if you guys are interested in purchasing FIFA points, do it. You know what? Life is about having fun. If you can afford it and that's what you're interested in, go ahead and do it. Um, just don't do it with the expectation that you're going to get anything good, okay? Because most likely you're not. We're going to take a look at the percentages in these um, in these packs in just a second. These are our two free packs for Calvert-Lewin. So I'm just going through these quickly. And then we'll just open up, you know, a few packs. We'll probably save some FIFA points to, to, uh, to open up a few more next week. Um, no, uh, no board here, so we'll just skip it. Um, yeah, so, you know, hopefully we hit that once to watch. Uh, I haven't seen anyone pack one yet, so... Oh, Boateng, we get right back. That's cool. Uh, I'll just list him quickly. Uh, obviously, if I pack anyone, I'd like it to be Werner. 
Um, if we can't pack Werner, um, you know, who, who knows. But uh, so we'll start off opening all 10 of our uh, Jumbo Premium Gold Packs. And, I'll, you know, I'll just, uh, just kind of talk through um, a little bit of this with FIFA. If there's no board, we'll, uh, we'll obviously just skip past it. Um, yeah, nothing doing in there. But uh, we'll just store it all in the club. We're not really worried about anybody at this point. If we get any interesting duplicates, we will see it. But anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully by this point you guys have gotten the game. You're enjoying the game. Um, you know, playing playing some uh, some squad battles. That's why I'd recommend starting off. Did we get no rare? We got one rare player in that pack. That's absolutely nuts. Um, <clears throat> hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. You know, got it. Uh, full, full release was today, of course. Weekend league will be coming in um, probably a week. This uh, next weekend, obviously, it's not out this weekend. Not, not enough people have the game. There is a board in this one. Uh, it's Brazilian board, center back. Oh, he goes for a lot. He actually goes for a good amount because he has seventy-seven pace. Diego Carlos. Um, that is actually quite a good pull. We're going to send him up there. I'm pretty sure this guy goes for something too. Savalowski, cool. Um, he's Hungarian, as a last name similar to mine, at least the beginning is, um, the way that my uh, last name used to be spelled. Uh, but anyway, um, Hungarian uh, player there. So that was good. Diego Carlos is good. He, he goes for a bit. Uh, we'll check out in a, in a second what he goes for. So in three packs, uh, one good one so far. Can't complain too much about that. Are we going to get another one? No walkout, no board. Uh, let me just, I'm just going to quickly check while the next one's opening what Diego Carlos is going for. Uh, Obafemi Martins in the Chinese League, nice. He probably sells for something that was silly. Uh, sometimes I just get in, uh, on a little bit of a roll, but um, but hopefully you guys are sticking out uh, around for this pack opening. Let me look at Diego. Oh, that's a board, Carlos. I'm looking him up over here. Croatian CDM. Brozovic, is that Brozovic? Yeah, Brozovic. Obviously not very good. Diego Carlos is 50K. Wow. And he's actually dropped a bit. But he's very meta. He might go back up as Weekend League gets a little closer. Oh, two boards in that pack. That was a good pack. We'll uh, we'll definitely hang on to them. Ruben Neves will sell later. And we will push on. Uh, premium Electrum Players Pack. Do I want to open those? Cause, no. Honestly, I'm not going to because you don't get enough gold rares. So, like, uh, I don't know. It used to, if you got six rares, I'd consider it another board. Back-to-back -back packs with a board. German goalkeeper. It is Kevin Trapp. We fell into the trap of believing we, we'd get a good pack there. <clears throat> Kavaminga. Going to be an absolutely fantastic player. Uh, born in 2002, which I believe makes him only 18. Or Actually, I think he's 17 now. He hasn't even turned 18 yet, which is just absolutely wild. Um, going to be a fantastic player. Remember the name. Wouldn't be surprised if he gets a Future Stars card um, at some point later on this year if they uh, keep with the theme of that Future Stars uh, sort of uh, promo. No board in this one. We'll move on. We would love to see a ones to watch. I, I don't even know what the pack looks like. Uh, so I might be a little confused when it does finally pop up. Uh, if it does pop up. Uh, you know, obviously we'd love to see we would love to see a once to watch player but um, we're getting towards the end of our 15k packs here but we will move on to our our 25k packs in just a minute but we only have five of those 25k packs uh, and then we'll probably ooh Regulon goes for something he definitely goes for something actually he might be my new left back because right now I'm using Chilwell yeah we're using Regulon as our new left back what a pack um, this has been a pretty solid pack opening so far guys definitely um, definitely been worth worth our few points in my opinion so far just early on in the game it's really just such a good time to open packs uh, because you can get so many good things that are worth something like diego carlos is an 83 who's worth 50k regulon's a oh i got so hyped for a second why do they do that now in this pack i'm pretty sure you can have messi ronaldo neymar like because they hide behind this guy because because they're just regular gold cards uh, we could have something good in there, and it turns out that we do not. Um, but you know what? We could have. <laughs> that's that's uh, the important thing to remember there. Last 15K pack. Going to do it right now. A little disappointing if we don't get any ones to watch players. Uh, you know, but hopefully we can sneak one in this pack right here. 
Nope, I don't think so. I think the flares are going to be a different color if we do, uh, if we do get one. But that is Philip Max, German in the Dutch league, which is actually mildly interesting, I think. Anyway, we already got him. Forced him myself or something. I'll just list him up. Whatever. Probably doesn't. Um, but as you guys can see, I do have a, quite a few uh, coins. What uh, what I'm looking at now is um, a left winger from our Premier League team. So um, so I'm thinking maybe Hyunin Sun. Uh, maybe Marcus Rashford. Oh, oh no, that's just because it's this pack. Wow, they absolutely snaked me. Well, that is so cool looking, by the way. Uh, I wish all the packs had that kind of that that like background when you opened it up. Uh, obviously, nothing too much going on there. Again, we do have five of these. We will open all five of them. Get our FIFA points down just a little bit, and we'll save the rest for next week. There might be a stream next Friday, so be on the lookout uh, for that. Again, no boards. That's bad. That's bad. Back-to-back -back packs with no boards. I expect a little bit more. Oh, we didn't even look at the odds. We didn't even look at the odds. What a loser I am. All right, let's check out the odds. Let's check out the odds. Show pack probabilities. We click the right stick. It's a less than 1% at a one swatch player. But it is 4% at an 86 plus, which is not actually not bad. Um... You know, we are still looking for a boards here. Come on, give us something. And no boards. No walkout this whole time. Couple of boards, and our boards have been good. Um, these 25K packs have been uh, fairly disappointing. Honestly, the 15Ks have been better. Uh, you get good contracts as well in those. So I would say 15K packs have definitely been better than the 25Ks so far. Two left to go on these 25Ks. We'll get up close to 275 coins. Obviously, there's a rare player. No walkout. No board, man. Come on. If there's not a board in this last one, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Um, and we'll be way under the odds, to be honest with you. Because um, what are the odds on a... Let me just look one more time before we open this last pack. 82 plus is 50%. Have we even gotten an 82 plus in, in four packs? We're due this pack. Give us a once to watch. We deserve it. It's not even a board again. That's crazy, man. Connor Cody. Yeah, like I'm going to play him with 47 pace. That's nuts, man. All right, you know what? You know what we're going to do? I said we weren't going to do this. So I, I also said force ourselves, but then I just got rid of him there. But um, I said we weren't going to do this, but, you know, we got we got plenty of FIFA points left. Let's just go. Let's just go nuts. Bring it down to 7,000 7, on the nose. No, stinks. Stinks. Mm. All right, guys. We'll we'll um we'll open just a couple more. Uh, we did get a couple of golds and uh, rare golds in there, so that was good. Come on, what are the odds on this one? Let's uh thirty six percent on a gold plus, but an eighty five plus is five percent. So this will actually bring us down to six thousand. So we'll have exactly um, half to go on the next um, next week's once to watch, and we did get a board, so it is worth it. Um, Spanish striker Hatafe in form. Didn't notice that. Uh, inform Angel, Angel, whatever, however you say his name. Sorry, I'm not an expert. Um, cool. All right, and he's not even a rare player. That's wild. All right, we will open two more. Uh, this is getting to be a little bit of a longer video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. Um, this is just going to be like a Friday content roundup. I think I'm going to release a video like this every Friday, um, just going over the content that came out that day. Um, you know, just to give you guys an update and then maybe open some packs um, and play it by ear that way. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, refer back to the beginning of the video for um, for kind of the content that dropped. If you guys are interested in a dedicated once to watch uh, video, uh, maybe we can come out with that. Once to watch is a really special kind of trading. Uh, we do get another boards here. and It is a Brazilian center back from Chelsea. It's Thiago Silva. It's Thiago Silva. That's kind of funny. Um, you know, we were talking about him before. Maybe he'll replace John Stones in my lineup, but honestly, I don't think he will. We, we also get Kovacic. That was a good uh, good pack there. Andreas Pereira. Remember when he was supposed to be good? He's not, <laughs> for, the, for the record. Uh, compare price. Yeah, he's going for like 6K, 7K maybe at a push. And we'll open the last pack, and there's no way we get any luck in this one. We just totally outperformed um, these packs, so kind of made up for our luck in the last one. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving um, a like on the video, subscribing if you're new, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.